This is Boomer Mafia here with a video on the electric vehicle charger that we have installed here for the family's Tesla. A lot of people tend to overthink um, when they buy an electric vehicle, they, they think that they need this very large 40 or 50 amp service circuits with this four or five or a thousand dollar chargers. You don't need any of that stuff. All you need is a 20 amp circuit with a, a level two 16 amp charger and you, that's gonna be more than enough power for your vehicle to recharge overnight and be ready for the next day. Obviously, if you drive 200 miles a day, you're probably gonna need something that uh, reloads your vehicle every night for 200 miles. But for most people that drive 50, 60, 70 miles a day, the 16 amp level two charger is more than enough. All I did is basically uh, install this 20 amp breaker over here. It's called Garage Tool because I have a special outlet that delivers uh, 220 and 120 service um, at 20 amps. And the 120 service comes handy for the air compressor on the welder uh, so that I don't end up overloading the other circuits in the garage. From there, it's basically using the cheapest wire that you can get, which in this case would be 12.3. Um, and that's 12.3 wire for a 20 amp circuit is more than enough. That's going to basically follow the the main panel here and it's going to keep going all the way to that door over there that takes us to the garage so let's go see what the outlet on the charger looks like uh, this whole installation i'll put all the materials in there but you can probably do this installation for less than 400 bucks and be able to recharge your electric vehicle every night just the same way you recharge your phone you can recharge your car no need to have those 50 amp thousand uh, dollar ev chargers at home so let's go to the garage. Well, here we are in the garage. Tesla is plugged in and the cable just pretty much follows the ceiling. I got it attached to the ceiling because the actual outlet is way back there. So let's go over there and check out the outlet. Nothing special or serious. That's my golf simulator. I got some videos about that if you're interested. Just go to my uh, channel. But this is the outlet that I was describing downstairs. Um, it's a dual outlet. It's got 220 up on top and 120 down at the bottom for 20 amps. It's really good. And actually, I also use it to power my garage heater, which, you know, it's a 220, 220 outlets use a very, a very special way of configuration. And there's the chart for the uh, garage, uh, for the uh, EV charger, which is attached up there. So basically that line runs to the outlet and the other line runs to the, to the car. You can see the charger over there it's doing its job. No big deal, 16 amps, 220. It'll charge the Tesla in about 12 hours if it's fully discharged, so no big hurry, right? Most people drive 40, 50, 60, 70 miles a day. This charger is gonna take care of it, just like your cell phone. Just get home, plug it in. Tomorrow morning, you're gonna have a full charge. No need for a 40 or 50 amp service or spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars. You can basically go with this very simple installation. If you don't know how to install one of these outlets, just get an electrician. They'll install it for you, not a big deal. You know, you can see the different types of plugs that is for uh, 120 and 220. There's no way to confuse it, right? The 220 outlet has a different way of plugging in than the 120. Other than that, really, really simple stuff. Um, if you're comfortable over working with electricity, you can certainly do this job yourself. If not, just get an electrician to, to install a 20 amp breaker with this, and then just plug in your EV charger that comes with the car or the one that you can buy at Amazon. Pretty simple stuff. All right, well, that's pretty much it. This is Boomer Mafia. Take care, bye.